This whole is what I want to ask you working. because Mark, the president didn't say you can keep right. your plan unless it's crappy, and then I will decide it's crappy <laughs> and I will tell you what you get. I mean, isn't it up to me if I, I want to pay less yeah, there wasn't for, a a, for a less exception. great plan? Isn't that my right? I mean, mm -hmm. th what we're seeing now is that right has been taken away from hundreds of thousands and perhaps millions of Americans. Look, there's a sucker born every minute, and, and do you have the right to go out and buy something that, you know, some swindler is trying to sell, sell but you? But Robin like, is very happy with no, no, a letter you know that it wasn't being swindled. Okay. Yeah, you know, look, all along the president said you can keep your plan, but he also said, and he was extremely honest with the American people, there are certain baselines below which insurance plans can't be offered. There are certain types of crummy plans that are now going to be illegal because they prey upon people's lack of information when they're signing up for, for an insurance plan. So under this, under the Obamacare exchanges, my good friend Sally Cohn, who I know you know, you know she saved her family $5,000. And yes, there are hiccups and there are all sorts of glitches with these online exchanges exchanges. But the people and, and Emily's friend who was kicked off and, and is offered a more expensive plan can also go to her exchange. But the problem and find with the exchanges, the problem with the exchanges, and we just talked to three people about this last week is you go on the exchange yes. and suddenly your doctor is not in the exchange. So now you now you have a choice. That's true of you all get kicked off your plan Megan, or you get kicked off of your doctor. And that also and, and, your, and, and his coverage.